Hello and welcome to the episode where we're going to try and fix the traffic in city skylines. I downloaded this file with the request to fix the traffic from the Steam Workshop and this specific city of Springwood was submitted to the workshop by the username Aaron Crenton. So Aaron, great job building a city and We'll take a look if we can fix your traffic. Let's launch it and see what our traffic is looking at. It's actually 69%, but the game just loaded, so the traffic did not propagate yet. So we are going to give it a moment. I also noticed that some of the assets, like a water pumping station and some other assets might have not loaded correctly. So I'm just going to put a random um water power water pumping station i use a very high capacity one that will allow us to not worry about water at all all right i have placed in the city a water pump i placed a couple garbage disposal units and it looks like you need a couple more police stations and I'm gonna do that and we're just gonna let the city sit for about 30 minutes and see where the traffic happens. Um, gotta make sure that we go into traffic manager and disable despawning. We like to play the hard way and see what happens to the city. All right, we'll be back in 30. All right, it has been about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Let's take a look at the traffic. All right, so the traffic seems to settle at 41%. Okay, so first I like to start fixing and checking all the roundabouts. So we're going to go into the traffic manager and check if the round around, oh, people upgrading. All right, so let's see, roundabouts are not set. So we're gonna hit control, shift, click and it's going to set the roundabout correctly and i quickly am going to go and do all the other roundabouts be right back all right all the roundabouts are set just to make sure we're going to make sure that the guys on the roundabout have the priority and cannot enter the blocked junction and you do it by just unchecking this little button right here and this should do it now let's take continue going this way here we have one off ramp and one on ramp so what we can do here is quickly just downgrade the highway to two lanes so that would work right here we hear a lot of upgrading in this area which is good and then also in traffic manager we're just going to say control shift so that they stick to the lane that they need to stick to and we're gonna do it for one more junction one more node and see what happens I don't know about you but this uh, upgrading sound is a little loud I don't know if how you feel about it um, and here we have one coming off so we're going to do the same thing we're going to downgrade all the three lane roads to two lanes just two make it all fit in and work as designed it should it should help us quite a bit and on each of the ends as well we go into put keep your lane setting the one that we use in this uh, traffic manager oof can't even remember what I'm saying Actually, this one is getting downgraded to one.
Okay, now I think it's all good. And then we're going to go to this tool right here, lane connector, and then do control, pick an intersection and do control S, one and two. And we're going to do it on each corner. We're going to do it here so you can see better. Oh, we upgraded to 36,000 people, yay on this one and on this one and I like to play on a little faster speed all right and then here we probably should tell them not to switch here either and here as well all right so this intersection is done this junction also a little bit of the lane management is necessary so we're going to downgrade this one and downgrade this one and put the standard tools on the ends. You can see it closer, just the standard for two nodes, they are gonna have to keep lanes. Just for two. Oh, I see it. There was a traffic manager used somewhere, some version. I wish, uh, if you put a map in the workshop, it is really good if you could put what kind, which version of traffic manager you're using so that people, if they're trying to fix your uh, traffic or do any kind of upgrades or improvements to the city, so they know what to use so that it's all compatible that you can download this stuff and you know have everything working as designed by the person fixing your city all right so we did all this we did all that and now what i'm thinking just looking at this whole city one thing kind of bugs me why not just connect these two roads. So I'm just going to use Net Picker. It's another mod, um, and I'm going to put all the mods that I'm using in the description because I'm using a few mods, but not tremendous number <coughs> and stuff. Another thing I like to do is to make sure that the intersection closest to the um, roundabout is the prior has the priority. So here the road coming off the roundabout becomes the main road. And another thing I'm seeing here, and I see you use, you use network extensions as well, because you have some roads that are only available in network extensions. I would upgrade this section right here so that it's a little bit easier to navigate and people that want to go straight to go straight. And here I would just make sure that everybody just goes straight that way they can figure it out later where they want to go but it will it will free up the uh, the roundabout and also on these t-type junctions I always like to keep the main road the straight road as the main road and the side roads as the secondary roads for some reason that seems to be working much better in my experience all right, so now we have set it up. Oh, we have two more junctions. This is a cool looking junction. So on here, let's also do some mathematics. So you have two lanes, so we can upgrade this to two and we can upgrade this to two and we can upgrade this to two. We're going to do it on all four corners. Oh, I'm upgrading to the wrong thing two-lane highway so upgrade into the two-lane highway two-lane highway two-lane highway and two-lane highway so now you have two two and then here you have one coming in so this also going to be two and this is going to be two and this is going to be two and this is going to be two and then here two comes off we're gonna be one 
and here to come off we also go into downgrade to one and then it comes back to two actually one 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 comes in two one comes in three aha uh -huh. this one goes to two actually all the way to one all right I think it's all set and then the exits once again no change in lanes, no change in lanes. All right, so this intersection is finished and now we have one last intersection left. So let's take a look. So here one comes off down to two. And then one more comes up, so we're down to one. Then one comes on, with back to two, and then we're back to three. So here is the same thing. One comes off, down to two. One more comes up, down to one. And then back to two. And on the exits, we do as always no switching lanes no switching lanes no switching lanes here and that's it so i'm gonna finish off this intersection and we'll come back and this intersection is now done as well so now we have the roundabouts running well the intersections the highway junctions are all organized and then we have the rest of it kind of all working so we're gonna let it run and while it's running i'm thinking since you have this train line here and this is the industrial area to put a little like a sponge and then the train connection so let's give it a shot we're gonna take the two lane one-way road and just build a sponge here All right, so we built this section over here. Uh, it's a little one-way road that twists and turns, goes to the cargo station, and hopefully the cargo vehicles are going to start using it. Uh, we don't have anything. Oh, we have a first truck going out. Let's see who it is. Exporting agricultural products. Amy's Baking Company. This is wonderful, a first truck that's being taken off the road. So we did that, and another thing that I'm looking at the traffic wise, and the way to improve traffic is just to take the cars off the road. I'm thinking of building a metro system because I noticed that you do not have public transportation in the city at all. So I'm thinking to take some more cars off the road and ease up traffic, we should build a metro station or metro system, I should say. So let's build one and see how that works. We'll be back in a moment again. All right, it has been about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, and I completed three subway metro systems. One big circle on top, one on the bottom, and one on the side. We also built this cargo terminal right here, or so the semis can go there and drop off goods for import-export. I built this little connection on the side to give it kind of another way for the trucks to get in and out of this area without 
clogging up this roundabout. Also, um, I did one more thing is I upgraded this road right here. It was originally a one way, one lane each way road and I made it a small four lane road all the way into the business area and right here to this roundabout because these two roads have been are being used kind of like a main road and let's take a look what is our traffic looking right now we're at 70 percent but we still have a little bit of problems so let's go ahead and see what is going on and i'm curious it looks like some of the settings yep just do this and do this i'm thinking about this roundabout right here and there is a perfect road just right here that could give us a connection right here so why don't we take that and put a double road yes we'll just connect it right here and make sure our roundabout is the way it's supposed to boom uh-huh this needs to be changed and then we're gonna make sure that everybody who can go can go and who shouldn't be going doesn't go and while we edit we're going to check on the top roundabout in a moment it should start clearing up fairly soon but what i'm thinking is this roundabout could be connected to this section right here somehow um we can take this move it mod and just kind of slide these things over kind of out of the way put them along the river and pick this line right here and build a small road that will go right here and then along the back of everything and hopefully it'll get across We should move this over here. I, not trying to make it too pretty, but at the same time, if we can, why not? We need to move this little guy right here a little bit more. It's getting in the way. Both of them are getting in the way, but it should be good. So, kind of right here and then curve it around to where it should go and boom bam let's just make sure that the roundabout is not affected yes remove this and then make sure one lane is off and the yield signs should be there too all right let's see how all of this is going to affect this traffic here here everything seems to be working all right Ooh, what's going on here this should not be happening these guys should all be going just straight and not stop And not stop no stop and just keep on going let's see what happens let's see how it works look at this while we were working on another section this cleared up very nicely there is a bit of traffic build up here but it should all clean up let's make sure the roundabout is the way it's supposed to yes 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 and yes just lanes confirm that 
only one lane goes off. Perfect. Let's give it a moment and let it run. And for this change to take effect, and hopefully everything is going to work. And let's take a look while we're waiting for that at our subway. So right here we have six lanes that I made and let's take a look. We have, no, we don't want to delete it. We want to look at it. The first line is doing well. 130 passengers, not as busy, but we'll see if it'll help somewhere else oh my goodness not being used they're not being used a lot and this one is oh my i think we need to give them as many vehicles as we can we have 2700 passengers waiting on this stop this is just insane let's go to overview of the last line same story we have 14, 1500 waiting here, 900 here. Yeah. Maximum. Maximum. People need to go places. All right. So now we need to take a look and see what else we can improve. I see this harbor line right here. We have a water problem here. So maybe address it with a little tower right here by the metro stop connect it in it should be just fine yep everything is working and now we'll just wait and now 30 minutes later with all the changes let's take a look at the traffic and the traffic is at 75 percent we on our way to our 90 or 80 percent we're gonna shoot for 80 maybe 82 percent which i consider to be a very good traffic in the city and what i'm thinking is that these two areas have only one connection here and it's the same connection for this area industrial area with this residential so what i'm thinking is there should be a connection somewhere here maybe between these two and then i'm thinking there should be a connection somewhere between these two so here i'm thinking maybe put a road right here and bring it somewhere around here and here to put a road maybe from right here to over here so it's kind of away from this intersection and it doesn't create too much traffic yeah I think this would actually work good connect right here so let's try to do that and we're gonna make a two-way connection so uh, our favorite two-way road and we're going to build it straight from here page up bring it across and let's see if page down will allow us to connect yes so now we are perfectly good let's see how this is going to work look at this they're already beginning to use this road it's fabulous and then we need to have the same connection here and I'm thinking of using this side of the road and just building it right here maybe put it somehow under the highway let me see. Let's try to see if we can fit it under these nodes. Um, let's try doing this. Right here, turn it like so. And then run a straight road kind of through here. Let's unbind it right here and i'm gonna anarchy it in for the moment and i think i have a great idea for what to do here and then just curve it around and connect in the middle between these two or maybe to this one uh in the middle between these two 
kind of like maybe like this let's see how that works and just to kind of make it look more realistic because right now it's a little wonky especially in this area so what I'm thinking use the move it mod grab that node under there if this one and then grab the next node wherever it is this node and bring them both down like this so now this road we can even bring it more down so now this road looks a little bit more realistic it's kind of a low underground road that doesn't have a roof i think that works well i think that's gonna do us well and since we're on it what i'm thinking there are a couple areas like this area right now has a bridge and people can walk on it which is wonderful and they can walk here but I didn't see any walking path between this residential area and this commercial area so what I'm thinking is just putting something right here something small something that will get them across and let them easily easily get to the other side so we're gonna page up right here we're gonna not use anarchy this time around we're just gonna try to build it as is sometimes this, this game just doesn't want you to build cool stuff but we are going to do it nonetheless and page down it's been difficult so anarchy is always available to us and we'll move it a little bit here and a little bit here so it ties in and looks kind of presentable let's take a look if it's blocking my highway nope it's not blocking the highway so it'll help people walk across here and there and let's see how our traffic is doing 76 percent all right so we're going to see how these two roads perform and i feel like here we need to do something because they oh it put a light there i bet you they it put a light there so yeah I'm gonna remove a light and remove a light and we're going to make it so and then we're going to give them each lane has its own purpose perfect let's see what happens this intersection is a little wonky so what I'm doing gonna do here is put a time traffic light and I'll put one here as well and see if that's gonna work and help us with the traffic a little bit and this road at this point I think is unnecessary so we're just going to take it out and see what happens these this roundabout is doing well there is a little backup here but it's going to clear up in a moment it's not that busy it's just the build up we need to sort out it probably was caused by this area so we just need to wait for this area to clear up and I think we will be at our 80% Another thing I was thinking to help us with industrial traffic, maybe put a cargo terminal right over here, kind of, sort of like this, and use this roundabout as a connection to it, put a little sponge right here, and join it, and 
just kind of address the walkability of the city. I noticed that in the city, there could be a lot of places where the roads connect. Like if people want to walk from this building, which is the university over here, they have to walk all the way around. So like a path right here, maybe a path, maybe somewhere right here to this section. So people can walk around, the better they can walk around, the less they're going to use the cars and fewer cars means less traffic always. So we want to give them as many options as possible to walk. Let's take a look at our transport. Nice. 1300 on these lines. And we still have 500 people waiting on the lines. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. They're very popular. They're very demanding. It's fabulous. We can add one more vehicle here. That was line two. And maybe line one needs one. Yes, line one needs one as well. Perfect. It is beautiful. Everything is working as intended. So let's give it another try. Traffic, 79%. We're almost there. We're almost hitting 80%. We just did hit 80% and it's awesome. But let's see what else can be improved to do. This area is really busy. It's really, really busy, but it should free up as soon as these people go through. Oh, we need to make these lights a little longer. Let's go to time traffic lights and find our stage. I think it's going to be stage one. Stage one, stop edit stage one and make sure that it has a longer time for things to go a little longer so 3 to 12 and we're going to save and then view this stage yes and make this stage a little bit longer as well 5 to 12 seconds i don't know i'm just using random numbers it doesn't necessarily have anything and another thing I noticed, there is, there are two train stations. We can put a path between them so people don't block the traffic crossing the road. So we can do this. And this will do exactly what we need. It will prevent people from crossing the road in the middle they will use the ramp to go above hopefully we can actually add aid them right here by going here and saying no crossing here and now they're using the little ramp beautiful just beautiful look at that we solved two problems at once I don't understand where these guys are going. There is nothing on this street, but they're still going there. Why? Citizens of our cities are just confused. They're very, very confused. It's working. We gotta gi give it a little bit of time to see how it's going to affect our life. You know what, while we're waiting for it, I'm just going to go ahead and build this little cargo terminal here, which will help us with our traffic. So we're just going to do one of these. And give it a shot give it a little bit of time to run people already go in there and it's gonna give another way for the goods to get in and out of the city so this road is becoming extremely extremely popular and 
a little bit too busy, if you ask me. So I'm trying to think what we can do to alleviate the traffic here. And what I'm thinking is actually instead of doing it there, route it across here and bring it over here. Because that way it might help us. Let's pause the game, remove this, and then using our tool, see if we can put a tiny bent road here. Like so. And I, I want to put it in between, so I'm just going to enter key it in and then use a move it mod to kind of move it around. Alright, so it's going to be a little longer and then just like this. And then let's take a look at it from the side to make sure nothing hits anything. No, it's actually all right. We're just gonna make it a little bit prettier using the Move It mod. And we're just gonna curve it up a little bit right over here. Maybe give it a little bit of a curve here and a little bit of a curve here so it's a little bit nicer and maybe slightly move it out here kind of like this and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be interfering with anything let's take a look closer look no it's perfect it's perfect it's not hitting anything Yep, I think this will do. Let's take a look. Oh my god, they're gonna fly around. It's okay. <laughs> and few moments later, here we are. We're hitting 82% right now, 83%. And it's doing good. There are still some red spots because these are just very heavily trafficked areas. A lot of traffic. We have our cargo area. So the big things that we changed were the lane management on these uh, intersections, updated the roundabouts, created a few extra connections, a train system or underground metro system to move passengers around our citizens can get to work using it and then we have the cargo areas the train area here and the ship area here that help with the import export of industrial goods i'm going to go ahead and save this file all right so this is it the city is running well we are at 83 percent and the city is looking good great job i love the layout i love how you left enough open areas throughout the city to expand and grow so this is a great foundation to expand and grow your city by new squares now if you'd like to submit your city for me to try and fix your traffic put it on the steam workshop with alex eclectic in the title and i will check on it and you may be selected for the next video until then have a wonderful day Bye.